Prince Harry is mounting a fresh legal challenge against the Home Office over its decision to prevent him from paying privately for a police security detail during trips to the UK. The Duke of Sussex is now seeking the go-ahead from the High Court to secure a judicial review over that decision, with his lawyers claiming that the committee responsible exceeded its authority and power and also expressed no willingness to listen to Harry's arguments. The Duke of Sussex lost his right to police protection when he and his wife Meghan Markle stood down as senior working royals in 2020 and moved to the US. In February 2020, a decision was made by the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, REVEC, from February 2020, which has delegated powers from the Home Office, that he would not be granted armed police protection whenever he and his family are on British soil, despite offering to pay for it. He was told that officers were not guns for hire. Harry was granted permission in July last year to bring a judicial review over that decision, though a full hearing is yet to be held. At the High Court on Tuesday, the King's youngest son mounted a second legal challenge, arguing the question of paying for protection should not have been delegated to Revet by the Home Office. A judge previously denied permission to bring the second challenge but his lawyers are making a fresh application to bring it to the High Court. Shahid Fatima KC, representing Harry, said Ravek, whose membership includes senior Home Office officials, senior officers of the Met Police and senior officials of the Royal Household, had overstepped the mark. She said, Ravek has exceeded its authority, its power, because it doesn't have the power to make this decision in the first place. In written arguments, the barrister said Ravek's decision was inconsistent with legislation that gives power to the chief officer of police to decide that special police services can be privately paid for by an individual. She added, by creating that discretion, Parliament has clearly decided that in principle, payment for policing is not inconsistent with the public interest or public confidence in the Metropolitan Police Service. Ms. Fatima also argued that Ravek's decision was unreasonable and that the Duke was not given any opportunity to make representations to the committee. She said, there was no willingness in Ravek to entertain any exceptions to the policy or listen to representations. We are not even getting out foot through the door. There is no willingness to listen. Robert Palmer KC, representing the Home Office, responded and said Ravek was not required to offer Harry the chance to make representations over the funding decision, adding that they would have been highly likely to have made no substantial difference in any event. The barrister urged the court to uphold the judge's original decision and throw out Harry's case.